the communication settings for BACnet are all set in the VCCX controller using the onboard display. To access these settings, you push the menu key until it says settings on the screen, and then press enter. The first two settings do not apply to BACnet. This setting here is for the WATCOM communications, which is proprietary communications for Aon products. The next setting is also for the WATCOM communications. They are not used for BACnet. The next setting is going to be your MAC address for this VCCX controller. It is adjustable between 0 and 127. The VCCX controller is always going to be a master device, so we only allow you to adjust it between 0 and 127 for the MAC address. So to change the setting, you use the up-down arrows, and that will set the first digit. So if I wanted to set this to MAC address 1, I'm going to go down to 1 on the first digit, press Enter. The cursor changes to the second digit. And then I can scroll down until it just says blank. And then push it a couple more times to go through the rest of the digits. And then press Enter once again. This setting is for your device ID on the BACnet loop. It is adjustable. Uh, for most of the range for the BACnet IDs, it's going to set up the same way. You're going to use the up-down arrows to change the first digit, and then you press the enter, and the cursor will change to the second digit, and you can adjust it accordingly. And you can just scroll through each digit and change it as you need to. Once it's done, it goes to the very end, press enter once more, and it goes to the MSTP baud rate, which is your BACnet baud rate. We default this to 38,400, which is the maximum that BACnet requires all controllers to communicate out. Although you can change it to a higher baud rate if you'd like, or all the way down to 9,600. We recommend that you leave it at 38,400, which is the BACnet standard baud rate. Once you set that, the next and last screen is going to be for eBus. That is an internal setting for VCCX, and it does not apply to the BACnet. Press the Enter again, and it will go back to the main settings uh, screen. If you push the menu key, it will scroll through until it goes back to the main screen. And now you have all the settings in the VCCX controller set up for the BACnet device.